Great is Our God Devotional Readings for Adults Written by Fernando Zabala Being read by Deshaun Chung Day 32 Help in Times of Greatest Need Passage comes to us from Psalm 91 verse 14 through 16 because he has set his love upon me therefore I will deliver him I will set him on high because he has known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. If we were to talk about biblical characters, whom would you regard as the greatest heroes of faith? What names would come to your mind? Abraham, Job, Moses, Joseph, Ruth, Daniel, Esther, Elijah, Paul, I don't know who is on your list, but one thing is for certain. Today, we know them as heroes of faith because they all faced harsh trials. They all spent time in the furnace of affliction. Of course, the fact that they faced severe tribulations did not make them champions. Trials alone don't make heroes out of people. If that were so, thieves and fugitives of the law would also be worthy of admiration because as soon as they get out of some trouble, they're already getting into another. What factor, in addition to facing tribulations, led these men and women to deserve having their names inscribed in the Hall of fame of faith. In the midst of their trials, they all placed their trust in God. When their faith were severely tested, sometimes at the risk of their lives, they all somehow believed that God accompanied them. Like David, any of them could have said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Psalm 23 verse 4 I don't know what particular trial you're facing right now, but this one thing I do know, no matter what you're going through, God is with you. Powerful and mighty angels come and go with you. And more importantly, they accompany you in your times of greatest need. That's precisely the promise found in today's Bible text. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Notice that this promise of God doesn't include a life free from trials, from tribulations. No, there will always be trials. God's promise is even more significant. He will be with us in our times of anguish. You don't know what difficulties await you in the upcoming days, but you can trust that in your most difficult times, the Lord will be with you just as he has been with his children over the centuries. We know this to be true because that's what he promised. Dear Lord, I don't ask that you free me from trials or from the furnace of affliction. What I ask is that on my days of anguish, like your faithful children throughout the ages, I will feel your presence close to me.